Hello everybody and welcome back to Pokemon Black. In the last one we went through the desert resort and cleared out all the items there. And today, now we're heading to the Mbasa City. Um, I realized while I was um, doing the editing for that video, I did pick up the Firestone, so I don't know what the hell I was on. Oh. <laughs> traveling backpacker means a traveling trainer. So I just opened this pack of... Well, I ate some of this stuff last night. And then I closed it, because I wanted to have some in the morning. And I can smell the, the strawberries from here, and it smells so I got chocolate covered strawberries. <laughs> and they look so good. Alright, let's see, Jasper, what do you gotta do? You gonna bite it? Chompy boy. Chomp. Chomp boy, go chomp. <laughs> Alright, GG, easy. Go next. There we go. Put on Jasper. We got Moxie activated as well. Alright. I may have been traveling to meet you. Just kidding! Alright, that, that's cool, bro. Next time, keep it to yourself. <laughs> Alright. And here we are. Well, almost there. We gotta go through the gate. Oh, here. I forgot that we were gonna meet her here. Hello, Phoenix. What the fuck took me so long? <laughs> Come here. Lisa called and was asking me about electric type Pokemon, so I thought about you guys. That's why I wanted to see you. Ta da! Freebies for you. You're Charon. You too, Phoenix. Ultra Ball, let's go! If you see a Pokemon that you want to have join you, make sure you use a good Pokeball. Because this will be the first and last time you see that Pokemon. I know it might sound strange to me to say, but I'm the one who asks you to complete the Pokedex, but please remember to enjoy your journey. Of course, I'm not saying that you could just neglect the Pokedex, but you know that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go meet Bianca. Bye! Oh, my Nuzlocke one. I'm completely neglecting the- Well, actually, for the Nuzlocke one, you have to catch whatever you see. So, mm, probably doing better at cleaning the, the Pokedex in my Nuzlocke than I am in this game. It seems the professor gave us the Pokedex as a reason to send us on a journey. At least, that's what my mom told me. They wanted us to go out and see the world. So my mom, Bianca's mom, and your mom made a request to Professor Juniper. Phoenix, what should we do now? I think I show, showed the professor my thinks by going to Route 4 and catching some Pokemon I haven't caught yet. Uh, good on you, bitch. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm going up. Oh, uh, this is such good music. You can feel the energy, like the fun area, you know? Gramps, we know you run the daycare. How do we know? Because we're Team Plasma. We're taking Pokemon away from people. Since you work at the daycare, we figure you must have a lot of Pokemon. Hand them over. What kind of nonsense is this? <laughs> I tried, sorry. Man, he fucking ran fast for an old man. Oh, a strong trainer. Please help me. <laughs> if you're going to get in our way, we'll take your Pokemon too. All right, come at me, you fucking ginger bitch. <laughs> context. Uh, I've been getting a lot of um, South Park stuff recommended on my feed on TikTok and whatnot. So um, I was scrolling through YouTube with my boy trying to find something to watch and there was this video that came up and it was like every controversy that South Park has ever been in. And it, it was posted like maybe three years ago so it didn't have like the latest stuff. So I mean it, it's fine but we, we watched it to see, because I want to know what all the old shit was, because this shit came out way before I was born. So we watched it, and we got to a part that was just about gingers. And I'm like, my boy is ginger. And I was like, yo, you look, they got a whole controversy about you. And we, and we watched it, and what the controversy was with gingers. Apparently an episode of South Park sparked in a, a, a day at school 
called Kick a Ginger Day. And my fucking, my boy was sitting there flabbergasted and he was just like, so is that why people kick the shit out of me? Yeah, he's like, he always, he was so confused, like people just randomly went up to him and kicked him and, and now, like almost graduating college, he like, now knows. <laughs> it's because of this fucking episode. All right, mud slap, because we got to deal with Trubbish now. What the fuck do you mean you avoided it? Jasper! I'm gonna fucking kill this thing. Stop avoiding my mud slap. I've never seen mud slap miss that many times. You stop it. My special defense is like tanking. Might need to switch Jasper out after this battle. Or, or he can, he, she can kill it. <laughs> I thought I should catch her when up with my One Piece partners. Oh, wait, hold on. Plasma! <laughs> question. Oh, shit. That's not a question mark. It's an exclamation point. This went downhill fast, so we better run. Let's hide out in the Mosin Park. Bye. Thank you very much. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. It's a brand new bike. I always plan on riding it around in Boston City, but I never end up riding it. Well, you bet your ass we're equipping that. I run the daycare on Route 3. If you have any Pokemon you want me to raise, please drop them off. I just came to sightsee, but I got a lot of trouble. Okay. Phoenix, guess what? Hi, Bianca. You also told me the Boston City has a lot of things to see and do. Museum Park, big sta- oh shit. Um, the Museum Park, big stadium, the small stadium, and the Museum Park. Wait, there's a battle- fuck, battle subway. Sorry. <laughs> I see the Pokemon musical. See you later. <laughs> and there she goes. All right, we're equipping the bike. This music is so fucking good. My God. Let's get rid of that. Put that on. No longer will I have to hold the A button because we got bike music. I love bike music. Is there an item down here? Bike. All right, let's heal so we can register this place. Oh yeah, to catch everyone up on my One Piece progress, uh, I've just finished Marine Ford, and now I'm learning a bunch of backstory shit. And I'm like, oh, can I get to the time skip? <laughs> I'm trying not to say much, just in case there's people out there that haven't, like, gotten to the same point as me. But I'm really trying to get there. Because I, I love, I love One Piece. It's really good. What the fuck do I need to go? Oh, let's go to the big stadium. They got a lot of trainer battles there that we can go do and train up. Which reminds me, I need to look up what at least is, uh, ace is so we don't get over level. <sighs> All right, um, let me see who's the weakest right now on my team. And look at that, it's Jasper. <laughs> All right, what shall I do first, dude? I'm a little bit strong, and I'll work out. Let me look up. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I had to take Josh up. <laughs> Fuck, what's her name? I'll just look up Nimbus. Nim Nimbus City Gym. And that ought to come up. Yeah. Oh, look at that. I am so clever. What's left? <laughs> Alright, who's the gym? Let's figure out. Oh, Elisa. Uh, in-game. 
appearance, trainers. Um. Okay, she is 25, 25, and 27. Okay. Dude, Jasper's gonna fucking sweep this gym. Why did you do so much damage to me? I looked away for two seconds! I'm good, but thank you. I really want to eat one of these shroud covered strawberries, but I know my fingers will get sticky. Uh, I'll eat this one. I'm trying to get eat them today because they're going to expire. Let's see. No, we boy gotta use Giga Drain. Let's go. Look at that. Back to full health. Alright. Uh, up. Sorry, I'm trying to eat this strawberry. It's, it's really good. We had special Easter strawberries made, so different. Effective, what did he use? Bite? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, bitch. I can't believe that shit. Oh, I can't reach to that. No. They'll keep fucking mega draining it. Yeah, I killed it. Let's go. Little old goat. I got worked over. Two thousand dollars. Well, he is a baseball player. I need to heal. And I'm just realizing, um, um, I believe we can get Lil O to evolve now. If I remember the correct area to go to. Shit. Who is this guy? Is it a sunstone to evolve or is it a shiny stone? Oh shit! No. I thought there was a place I can get a shiny stone around here. Hold on. Because I want my little little to evolve. Any stone Pokemon Black. Let's see. Shiny stone can be purchased from a traveling merchant for five thousand gold. Jesus. Sunstone can used to evolve Connie into Whimsicott and Pedigo into Lul again. All right. That, now's the best time, right? Because I got the best. Thing to put on little little. So it should be fine. So we, we get a new little party member now. I say new, but she's been with us. Oh, there she is. Okay. <laughs> Cancel. <laughs> there she is. Bye bye. 
They grow up so fast. So beautiful! My little lilligans! Oh, I love her, I love her, I love her, I love her. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, spider! Alright, a little more HP. 77 special attack, that's real fucking good. Um, is pretty good. Our defenses are are tied. Okay, I think this is the best thing that we can get for Lolo. Oh my god, she's so pretty! I do have a cosplay of, of Lilligans that I have worked on. I just had to do a couple of just last minute touches on it before the con. Which, by the way, I will be going to Animazement this year. So I'm super excited. I'm hoping that my Luffy cosplay will come in. So I can maybe do that for like Thursday, because Thursday won't have a lot of things to do. So just a little minimal cosplay. Oh, oh hi, Anne. I didn't know you were here. <laughs> They're looking for Team Plasma, right? They ran into the music park. Come with me. Are we gonna go on a date? Oh my god, this is so cute. <laughs> Might I just say, I love your green hair today. D did you use conditioner? <laughs> They're not here. Let's ride the Ferris wheel and see if we can spot them. I love Ferris wheels. Circular motion, mechanic. They're like collections of elegant formulas. Oh my god, we're going on a date with them! <laughs> First, I must tell you, I'm the- oh shit, the king of Team Plasma. <laughs> That's fine. I- I like a lot of men with evil backstories, it's fine. Dance just asked me to work with him to save the Pokemon. I don't know, I gave him a nasally voice like Charon. That is not my- <laughs> I wonder how many Pokemon exist in this world. Well... I know one thing's for sure. I'm in love. <laughs> this is the scene that sold me on N when I was like 11. 10? When th this came out in 2010, so I was 8. Oh my god, I was 8. <laughs> my lord N. You're safe, sire. There's no problem. I should have healed. <laughs> Shit! Fuck! <laughs> You're part of the people... You're part of the people we brought in to help us save the Pokemon, so you're under my protection as well. Go, quickly, and let my battle cover your retreat. Now then, Phoenix, do you follow my logic? I think I do. If true, your words please me. And then, the future I envision. Perhaps I can't beat you here and now, but I'll battle you to save time for these members of Team Plasma to get away. Oh shit! Now we get this in drop for him! Oh, Team Plasma in. He's got a sand guy! Who do we have in the front? <laughs> Jasper, no! We can have a fucking croc fight. Even though I don't think I'm gonna be able to do anything. Um, you know what I could do? Um, Lil Little can come out here. She can show off her beautiful dress. <laughs> Ooh, I just twitched the shit <laughs> out of myself. Oh, she's so pretty! Oh, I, I love Lil Lilligan. She is so pretty. I made the right decision by cosplaying her. She's just so fucking cute! I gotta get the shoes, and then I gotta get these, like, the leaves on the skirt that I have. But other than that, like, I, I love the, the flower that I gave her and everything that I made. Which, that one was a pain, but I, I liked the progress that I made on it, it was really good. Um, I did, I took like, I bought two blocks of foam and like cut them accordingly to get to the shape of the petals. And then I bought two long foams for the leaves. 
and I bought this like block for the crown bit. I'll, sh I'll show it on screen now. I worked really hard on it. I liked it. This girl is just a fire type in front of me. You know, I don't... Your Pokemon look happy. They are! I would be happy too if I had an elegant dress like that. Look how pretty she is. I can't wait to cosplay her for a con. Maybe I'll do that on Friday. That'd be cool. I did- I was talking to Koda, like I- I- Cause I've been obsessed with- where the fuck is it? Oh, it's over there. I've been obsessed with this Luffy hat that I got from Anime Paradise. Like I-, I we were walking around and they have a cosplay section with some wigs and everything. And I was like, oh, I, that'd be so cool to do Luffy. Cause I'm fucking crazy like that to- Like, to have Luffy kind of energy. Not the strength, but I have the energy, you know? And, oh, shit. <laughs> so, we were walking around, we saw the, uh, oh, come on! Go fuck yourself, son sport. Good, screw you. <laughs> I was talking. We were walking around and we found a uh, like cosplay section. They had a, a Luffy cosplay. Right next to it was Lana, I was trying to convince my boy, like, if I cosplay Luffy, will you cosplay Law with me? Uh, he said no, because he, he, he doesn't feel like he fits to be Law and everything. Which, understandable, I guess. Oh, maybe I should have checked it out. It's fine. We're gonna be as annoying as possible. And then, um... We were walking around the counter, we saw some figures. Unfortunately, they didn't have a Sanji or a Zoro figure, but they did have Nami and two other people. I had no idea who they were. Actually, that's a lie. It was Nami, the, the one of the rookies that's like really into cards, and then a dude I didn't know <laughs> at all. So, yeah, it was fun for me to see that. <laughs> and then I looked in the case and they had a Law hat and they had a Luffy hat. So I knew right away that if I was going to cosplay Luffy, I would have to get the hat at some point. So I bought the hat and I've been wearing it nonstop. Because it's so cool. Yeah, take that, bitch. <laughs> so I'm hoping, I ordered the cosplay for it. I am hoping I'll get it in soon. Because I do love me some good old luck, Luffy. If I lose, oh shit. Even if I lose, there will be no difference. I think. I don't know, Jasper's about to fucking like, level up right here. But unfortunately, this is a fighting type. Man, Scraggy, you are so fucking lucky that fairy types do not exist in this generation. Because I could have molly whopped your ass. Um. Razor shell. Oh, fucking brick break. Fuck you. Oh, you are dead. You are dead to me. <laughs> Let's go. Just over 26. Let's go, Jasper. The result was the same, but you, who are you? Four thousand dollars! Damn, they pay you pretty good for being a king. Oh, damn. <laughs> You're quite strong. But I have a future I must change. And for that future. Whoa, okay. Hi. <laughs> I am such a fucking simp. <laughs> I'll defeat the champion and become unbeatable, unlike any other. I'll make all trainers free their Pokemon. Just try and stop me. If you want to be together with Pokemon, your only hope is to collect the badges from each area and head for the Pokemon League. Try to stop me there if you dare. If your conviction isn't strong enough, you'll never be able to defeat me. I just fucking did! I, d I just kicked your ass! <laughs> what more could you want from me? I can't, be I can't believe the, the boy I met only hours ago is an evil villain. Can you believe that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. What was I talking about before I got super angry? 
Oh yeah, Luffy. Um. Well, I, when N came on screen, it reminded me of a um a trend I saw at some point on TikTok. It was like, imagine your first uh, anime crush meeting your current one, and I'm like, damn, <laughs> that wouldn't be good at all, because mine was N. I mean, he is in the Pokemon uh, anime and everything, so I guess it somewhat counts. I don't. I had. I didn't watch anime until high school, unless you do count Pokemon. Then it was when I was younger. But um. So I was like, "What's my current one right now?" It's currently Sanji. <laughs> so, I th I think he would mollywop him. <laughs> yeah, and, and wouldn't stand a chance, unfortunately. <laughs> you hear an elegant smasher? Is that what you just said to me? Alina. A blitzel. Guess what we have in front? Jasper! <sighs> I'm kind of just fucking around here for a while. I should probably go see the musical like Bianca said earlier. Because I kind of want to see what it's all about. We can end it on a little silly note. Just being a little silly guy. <laughs> Can you stop using flame charge? It's annoying. Why don't you try using spark? Even though we both know it's not gonna work. <laughs> That's we're too slow. Alright, you did it. Moxie! Even if I lost, I won't panic. She's panicking right now. <laughs> Damn, only 2,000? Better fucking rank up to be a king. They pay you big bucks. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I want to go over to the musical. We're gonna get all dressed up. We're gonna feel nice. There's Bianca. Hey, Bianca. Oh, Phoenix. Are you interested in musicals? Then let's go in together. This is such a cool feature. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? Hello, you two. How do you do? I'm the owner of this theater. Pleasure to meet you. Oh, I must say, you two seem like potential trainers. What do we do here? We use props to make our Pokemon f fashionable and glamorous. Do you want to join in and play dress up? To get started, here's a prop case. Let's go. This prop case lets you store props for decorating your Pokemon. First off, you need to pick a Pokemon. Um, I feel like Little Little would want to get y'all dressed up. Then it's time to play dress up. <gasps> you can pull out props from the list and use them on your Pokemon. Uh oh, I don't- I just realized. I don't know how this would work. I, okay, I do have touchscreen on my laptop. Um, can I use my mouse to hover? Okay, let's put it right here, okay? Yeah, I have, I have touchscreen on my, on my laptop, fortunately. So you do have two hands. We gotta find something- oh, oh, I know. Wait, scroll. There, there we go. Good computer. <laughs> Perfect. I feel like she showed something else, but I feel like this is pretty good for a little again. There you go. Look at her. <laughs> do you or do you not feel bonita? <laughs> I feel bonita. Wonderful, because you look bonita. Wow, you two did a fantastic job coordinating everything. Utterly charming. If you have a Pokemon you, you can play dress up, you can participate in the Pokemon musical. Or you should be joining us, the reception can help with everything. Let us say a brief farewell. I eagerly anticipate seeing you on the stage. I cannot wait. Oh, I didn't know what to do. Doing the musical would be totally cool, but there's other stuff I want to do. Okay, I said that. I got my mind. I'm going to go see the sights in the bossa. See you, Phoenix. Alright. I'm gonna 
hopefully dress up. I think it's this lady we have to talk to. Yep. Uh, no. Then is it this one? Yep. I think that's if you do multiple people, like on online or local. Alright. Little is gonna be a fucking star. Um, let's do forest strolls. So she's a little grass type. Makes sense, you know? Welcome to the musical. I'm very pleased with your participation. Participants of this musical are Linda with P. P Bean, Phoenix with Little Little, Noah with C Lit, and Amina with Minzi. And the show will be performing the Forest Stroll. It is a popular among girls. And without further ado, let's play dress up. Alright, so it, it pulls the most recent ones off, so at least we get to just like. Alright, perfect. Before we have another item, let's do the green maraca. I said the green maraca. There we go. Perfect. She's ready for the paw. <laughs> I think we're gonna end it after we do the musical. I guess everyone's in stage. Is... I guess everyone is ready. Let's go up to the stage. All right. Oh shit! Hold on. Oh, it's a dove. Pat rat. And a pan pour. Lilligan's a fucking star right now. It's important to have timing and also steal the show away. I love the musical parts. Hell yeah, let's go, bitch. When you start seeing, like, if you do the musical enough, you'll see Pokemon and you just know what props they have. Because all of them are kind of generated to have the same ones constantly. So... Like, I've I always seen a Padov, and I've never seen it not wear this combination of hats. <laughs> Yippee! Um, yes, please. Oh, good job. This was a great musical. In fact, I received comments from the audience. I'm very pleased. I will give them to you in order. Alright, so fourth place. Third place. Second place. We got first place! Very unique. The Pokemon use props to convey such dominant expression just as if they were actors. Thank you very much for participating in musical today. Please join another musical today. Uh, again, uh, have a nice day. <laughs> So after every musical, you can come out here and you can talk to your fans, and sometimes they give you props. Like this one. Let's see. Echoed voice. Okay. What is this one? So we have our first fan. Which is very cute. Oh shit, drama! Dad, what are you doing here? I couldn't get you back home, of course. 
Your mother told me that you made it all the way out here. Haven't you gone far enough? No way. I'm going to keep traveling with Phoenix and my Pokemon. Don't bring fucking me into this! <laughs> Absolutely not. Other things... Others do their... Others do things their way, and we do things ours. Is that so? Then how about you do things your way, and I'll do things mine? Sweetie, you keep going on your travels. Oh, shit! Hey, who do you think you are? This is a family matter. My name is Elisa. I'm the town gym leader. I also happen to be a model. You know, there are many Pokemon in this world. I think it said people. I'm so sorry. There are people whose ways of thinking might be completely different from yours. Sometimes this means you may get hurt. Of course. That's exactly right. It's because I'm worried about that. But it's important to keep trying to learn about the differences between yourself and others. To learn about being different is okay. And you shouldn't worry. Trainers always have Pokemon on their side. Pokemon are wonderful. They're not only... It's not only how cute they can be, it's also how they can depend- how you can depend on them. Please! I know there's gonna be painful stuff like you're worrying about. I know, really, I get it. But, like, listen, there's like a ton of place new people too. You know what else? Since I've been traveling, Pokemon have already gotten tougher. You can totally tell. So, please? I love this music, it's so good. Hmm, I guess. You wanna continue your journey? If wanting to continue your journey is selfishness on my, your part, wanting to stop you is selfishness on mine. I'm surprised to find that I'm the one being childish at my age. This gym leader's comments help me wake up. Bianca, I'm sure it's better that you take the path you want to take now. I hope your, your journey will be fun. Voyage voyage. Phoenix, please, take care of my little girl, okay? I will! Papa, I'll be home after I find out what I really want to do. I'm sure he traveled as a trainer himself in the past. Being a parent must be hard. Did I meddle unnecessarily? You look troubled, so I decided to chime in. By the way, if you're trainers, please stop by the gym. I'll teach you a little something about how tough a journey can get. She's so cool, huh? I want to, I want to, I want to be a totally cool woman like Elisa. I wonder how I'll get there. Well, before that, I guess I need to discover what I really want to do. See you later, Phoenix. That music is always so good. It's always plays at like sad parts or at pivotal moments like that. Let's go heal real quick and then we'll end from the gym. Uh, I believe Jasper's gonna be the only thing that we can do for this ship. Cause, um, she has two Amogas and there's Abstrika. And the Amogas like to do the thing. <sighs> Sorry. The Amogas like to do this thing called Volt Switch. So, it will hit you, switch out, and then get a new Pokemon. Which can be super damn annoying when you're trying to take them out. And so there's a strike So, like, sometimes you just have to deal with the Ace as soon as it comes out. So... Um, with Jasper, we won't get hit by electric type moves, which means it can't switch out. I think there's an item over here I forgot about. Yes. Oh, an X attack. Okay. Super rip out. Oh, right. I knew that that spot looked suspicious. All right. So, we made some Mbasa City, we did a couple things around the town, we dealt with Bianca's family issues. Now we know that N's part of Team Plasma, not only as a member, but as the damn king. And uh, we're sitting right outside the gym, so in the next one we'll go in there, uh, battle the gym trainers, and get to the leader. So thank you guys for joining me on this adventure, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!